Joining us now in our Book Talk segment, great to welcome as we start a new year here. A lot of people looking to uh, perhaps lose weight or get in better shape, and this book is going to help. It's called The Longevity Diet. Discover the new science behind stem cell activation and regeneration to slow aging, fight disease, and optimize weight. We're joined today by uh, Dr. Walter Longo. He's the director of the Longevity Institute at USC, and he joined us by telephone today. Doctor, good to talk with you. How are you? Good, good. Uh, good to uh, be on your show. Yeah, I had a chance to, to read through the book and, uh, and, and enjoyed uh, the, the way you kind of told your personal story along with uh, some of the science that uh, you've come up with. And uh, a lot of it has to do with, uh, with where you were brought up, right, in, in Italy. You can tell, I know you're from Italy from your accent and from reading the book, but a lot of the diet uh, you got comes from, I guess, uh, the old country, doesn't it? Uh, it comes from uh, combining the old country, some, uh, the diet of some uh, small villages that have record longevity in southern Italy, with the science and with everything else, the epidemiological studies, the clinical work, etc. So when you combine it, I think you get a, uh, a much uh, stronger idea of what uh, is beneficial for people and also what's not going to change in a couple of years because a new fashionable uh, diet comes around. I was going to say, uh, I mean, there are a lot of diets that seem to come out all the time, but I think this one is different in the sense that it's based more on science than I think a lot of the other ones are, and uh, uh, and you've done a lot of research into it, so it's not, like you said, a fad diet. This is based on scientific principles, right? The scientific principle, but also uh, on different uh, disciplines in science. So, for example, looking at all the centenarians, but also looking at large population. What happens, if, for example, if you compare uh, an American population that has a high-protein diet with one that has the low-protein diet, and it turns out the low-protein diet people uh, do better, and most people instead think that the high-protein is good for you. And, uh, of course, it's good to lose some weight uh, short-term, but then in the long run, it does uh, more damage. So there is, uh, are other ways to lose weight that are also healthier for you. One of the interesting things I thought from reading the book, and you always hear about people going on these fasts, you know, don't eat anything and, and all that, but uh, now you have a part of your diet that does uh, include fasting, but it's, it's shorter fasts, right? A few, maybe two or three days, maybe even less, that you say helps, uh, helps the cells in your body regenerate, right? Yes, no, this is actually five days, and, and it's not fasting, it's, it's what we call fasting mimicking diet or FMD, and the, the role of this is to trick the body into thinking it's fasting while you're actually uh, having uh, you know, about half of the normal calorie, calorie that you will have in a day. And, um, and this uh, serves as a reset. So it, it kills a lot of the damaged cells and a lot of the damaged uh, components inside of cells of the body. And then it turns on stem cells. And when you refeed uh, uh, the, the cells and the stem cells go to work, and they rebuild so that uh, you're healthier, in a healthier state than you were before the, this uh, fasting making diet. And then do you do this, you recommend four times a year, roughly, and then about five days at a time, like you just said. So every, every three months, uh, you'd recommend to do that, right? The, the FMD. In the average person, so if somebody's obese uh, and has a high cholesterol, high blood pressure, they might have to do it once a month until they get to a better state. And if somebody's healthy and, and 30 years old and exercising as a, a perfect diet, they may have to do it only a couple of times a, a year. Right. So on average, I will say in the United States, it's probably once every four months. So it's five days every four months, and I think the great majority of people can do it. And, and I know you, you go into the book in detail, but you know, give a, a food or maybe two different types of foods that, that are part of this FMD uh, that, that help, like you said, trick the body into thinking uh, uh, it's, it's not eating at all or get, fasting, I guess. That's, I mean, you, you're still nourishing yourself, but the body somehow thinks you're not, and it kills off the bad uh, fat cells, right? Uh, yes. So, so this is a low protein, a low sugar, high fats, but high levels of certain fats. And even the proteins, the low level of protein, is uh, of certain type of protein. So everything is studied in this uh, five-day uh, fasting making diet uh, to um, to optimize the uh, the uh, effect on genes in the body that are so important for this uh, protective and regenerative regeneration. Uh, effect. And part of that diet, like you said, low protein, uh, uh, certain types of fish, right, a part of that, I guess beans, right, legumes? Uh, no, 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 this is, uh, 
No, that's the everyday diet. You know, mm-hmm. so the book is divided in two. It's got uh, a section. The first uh, half is is an everyday diet, right? And 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 why? And the other half is in the fasting drinking diet. So the fasting drinking diet, there's no fish, uh, but the everyday diet is uh, mostly vegetables and plus fish diet, uh, low protein and um, high nourishment uh, diet. Yeah. And again, in the back of the book, you, you got a lot of recipes. Uh, hopefully, if people will get the book, they'll, they'll check that out as well. And you also base uh, base uh, the longevity diet five pillars. Uh, uh, briefly, can you kind of go over what those are? The five pillars of longevity. Yes, the, the five pillars really uh, are an attempt to um, to uh, build a solid foundation to get away from a lot of these bad uh, books that uh, don't have a very solid foundation. So I, I basically started by saying. Uh, a diet to be something that uh, is going to be good for you now, but also 10 or 20 years from now, right. has to be built on data that comes from epidemiological studies, so studies of populations, uh, clinical studies, studies of basic research focus on, on longevity, and uh, studies of centenarians, um, and, uh, and the study of complex systems like a plane or a car. Uh, so the, all of these together... Um, um, uh, allow you to identify nutrition that can achieve all the things you want to achieve, including losing, let's say, a visceral fat. Uh, but, for example, losing visceral fat without losing muscle. And this is something that is very, uh, very unusual for most diets. And it's something that because uh, the longevity diet is based on all these pillars, we're able to do. So you lose uh, the belly fat, but you you don't lose muscle mass muscle while mass. you're doing this uh, fasting making diet. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned uh, studying people that live lived over a hundred years. Uh, now you come from a place in Italy where there's, there's quite a few people that uh, live long lives. So it does have something to do. Uh, maybe not a hundred percent diet. I know genetics are a factor, but uh, that must have been kind of interesting to you to kind of talk to these people over a hundred years old. What, what did you learn from them? Well, you learn, of course, there are some that have uh, the the genes, the right genes, so they can eat whatever they want, but this is very rare. You know, it might be one person in a, in a million or 10 million. And uh, everybody else, uh, for everybody else, the diet uh, is, is very important, uh, the most important thing. Um, so, you know, we learned that um, most of them have adopted this uh, low protein, mostly vegetable, a lot of legumes, uh, a lot of beans, uh, uh, some whole grains. You know, of course, they have some pasta and bread and rice, etc. But not 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 a lot of it. In most of the cases, they are uh, they, you know they maintain the normal weight, and they were also very active uh, uh, all day long. And so all these things together um, and brought them, optimize their chances to make it to 100 years of age. Uh, in most cases, healthy. Yeah, yeah, that's the key. I mean, you still want to be relatively healthy at that age. You can still enjoy your life. But, uh, well, like I said, Doctor, it's, it's one of these readers who don't do a lot of diet books. Because, like you said, a lot of them are fad diets. We only bring on people that do books uh, filled with diets that are based, uh, like you said, on science. And this is one of those called the Longevity uh, Diet. And we've been talking with Dr. Walter Longo. And, uh, Doctor, uh, I'm sure you have a website. Give that out if you would. People can get more information about you and the book. Yes, they can follow me and uh, on the Facebook page called Professor. Prof. Walter Longo. Uh, so we we give updates. We also do Facebook Live, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, episodes or, or, or uh, podcasts. Podcast, or, yeah. And uh, yeah, so people can uh, can uh, follow us and follow our research that way. Great, Doctor. Pleasure talking to you. Hopefully, we can do it again. Uh, thanks for being with us today, and uh, good luck with the book. Okay, thank you. I'm Stan Brock. Thirty years ago, I formed Remote Area Medical to help people overseas. But then we found generations of families in America, isolated by poverty from the health care they need. Together, we can take dental, vision and medical help to a million adults and their kids, right here at home in the United States of America. If you'd like to order the book we're talking about, please go to DougMilesMedia.com and enter the author's name in the Amazon search box. Thank you for listening. Please come back soon for more conversations here at DougMilesMedia.com. This has been a presentation of Doug Miles Media, all rights reserved. You can listen to or download previous programs at iTunes, Stitcher.com, or DougMilesMedia.com.